10 down out of the coin toss is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Vanderbilt has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The volunteers and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan, and I'm sure we're going to see it again today. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Number 20 brings him down at the 34-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he stopped behind the line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Height is back deep to return. Brought down at the 26-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Caught open field. That's a great tackle at the 41. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. to being intercepted. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. That brings up third and 14. to his receiver and they make the stop around the 19 yard line you can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice these guys know and trust each other and you could see it in the way he threw that pass first down 10 yards to go ball on the 19 yard line Deep ball, laying it out there. Can't connect. He caught it, but failed to get that one necessary foot in. That's an outstanding catch, and he just missed making a big-time play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here we go, here we kill, go. kill, kill. One or three. Quick throw, and he's taken down at the 11-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They 
keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. Vanderbilt is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 32. Vanderbilt's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Wide receiver screenplay. That's a good game of nine yards. That brings up second down. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. They try the right side. He fights forward to about the 46. It's second and seven. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Throws out on the screen, incomplete. McCoy was the intended target on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Ross is the putter. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Vanderbilt holds a field goal lead. Got a man in and out of his hands. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. And he is drilled at the 23. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. No gain on the play. That brings us fourth and seven. Matthews, the return man. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it to the 48-yard line. The Commodores are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. That was a nice, nice play to close on the ball like that. You can't teach that kind of reaction. It's just natural ability. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 42-yard line. 
That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Down he goes at the 32-yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And now he's got room to run. Tackle made around the 21-yard line. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. And here's a quick throw. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. They put everyone up on the line. down at about the three yard line a one yard gain by the halfback i feel the corner position is really one of the hardest to play so when i see a young player like this make a play like that phew, it's impressive touchdown balls So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 53-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 7-3. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. The Volunteers really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Gillespie gets the call. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch and look out. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. From their own 47 yard line. First down. 39 and he tackles him hard at the 45 yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. it to the 44. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And they'll bring him down behind the line. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Let's go! 
They'll work the left. And they push him out around the 36 yard line. First and 10, ball on the 36. Nice run there. Gillespie gains about five yards on the run. Here's the eighth play of the series. Got it. He's tackled around the 26-yard line. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-3, Tennessee. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. The defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense if he's releasing a safety to stop the run. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up, looks long enough, and they come away empty-handed. Still, our score, 7-3, Tennessee. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tennessee is up by four. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. Call it again. Eight yards. Third down. Let's go, let's go. Throws it to the outside. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. They complete the play-action pass for a pickup of three. Stop behind the line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Deep to return the punt. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Let's go! He lets it go. Complete. It's the freshman at the 30. To the 20. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. <laughs> Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. Vanderbilt. 
Vanderbilt lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 34. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Looks middle, got his back. And they make the stop around the 34-yard line. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 34-yard line, second down. And he's taken down at the 36. quickly he's got the tailback on another catch and he's tackled at the 45 from their own 45 yard line first down At about the 45. Number 35 on the tackle at the 45 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Fires out to his wideout. He's hit and taken down. That makes it first and ten. Short pass, middle of the field, and down he goes around the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They go to the ground game. They'll get him for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. going to lose yards here. So it's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Tennessee can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks up. And he nails the long field goal. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. This one's all even at 10. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. 
Pitches back. And now he's got room to run. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Scrambling around. Tackle made around the 40-yard line. Fights forward to about the 43. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He did not get to the first down marker. That was nose to nose football right there. And the defense this time wins the battle. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Makes it to the 22-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gets it out quickly. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Dumps it complete over the middle. Brought down at the 40. Call it a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Goes down quickly. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled right away. First down. Looks left, finding his tailback. Knocked out of bounds around the 41-yard line. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Quick throw. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. From the 22 yard line, first down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Slings it, and he's immediately tackled. Tennessee's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the four-yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, Volunteers! A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he adds the extra point. Ross has 
has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And down he goes at the 19. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's tackled at the 23. Vanderbilt's going to use their first time out of the half here. Second and six. Ball on their own 23. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Black five, go! Wide receiver screenplay. They'll bring him down at the 26. Tennessee's out of timeouts. Matthews will be the return man. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Matthews takes it to 28. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Tennessee is up a score. Quick strike, and he drops it. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 35. Caught out in the open. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Just flung it out there, and it was short. Uh, he got a little bit lazy here. There's no question he should be able to make that throw nine out of ten times. That was the one time he missed it. From the 45-yard line, second down. Here they come. Deep pass to the end zone. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Wait, Brad, this guy drops an interception. What's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. He steps out at the 43-yard line. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's got an opening. He's to the 40. Across midfield. Inside the 30. To the 10. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. The Commodores call a timeout. That's their second of the half. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. He gets it up, and he got it. Vanderbilt ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tennessee holds a four-point lead. Nice run there. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. 17-13, Volunteer. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites.
host, David Pollock, and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's on the run. Gets out to around the 35. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down right around the 40. Gillespie gets the call. And he's tackled around the 50-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Seven yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Black five, black five. Hey, go. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Nice game, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. the 41 and they'll fail on fourth down and here we go with the offense ready to get things going again Tennessee is up four with the pass incomplete Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Offense lines up in a five wide set and a defense anticipating pass here. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes at the 30. That makes it first and 10.
It's first and ten. Ball on the 30. He's in trouble, and he's sacked. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Tackle made around the 26 yard line. Patterson makes the tackle at the 26 yard line. Third down. Man left, man left. Tennessee is up by four. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down around the 15-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 15. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. And the goal line defense digging in here. Touchdown, Vols! And he hits the PAT. Ross looks ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They go to the ground game. Makes it out to about the 39. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and they'll get him in the backfield. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it second and ten. He's at midfield, and he hits him hard at the 44. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. From the 44-yard line, first down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That'll make it second and seven. Black five, black five. He gets rid of this one. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? Pass interference. Defense. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. From the 46-yard line, first down. Wants to throw outside. In and out of his hand. That makes it second and ten. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 37. 
It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Red two, go. Throws to the back quickly, off his hands, incomplete. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And a quick throw. He's out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Second it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets to around the 42. That's a deep nine on the play. First down. Quick throw, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it second and six. From the 38-yard line, second down. Grabs it and hammered right there. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled around the 31 yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 31. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. He passes it, makes the catch, and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Rose over the middle, touchdown. He fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. And he converts the extra point. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. There's a very impressive open field tackle. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll give it off here. They'll bring him down at about the 35.
time left, and he's taken down in the backfield. That's how we do it. That makes it second and 14. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 31. Go! There's a strike complete. And they make the stop at the 33. That brings up third and 12. Throws it in a hurry, and he's taken down at the 40. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The volunteers aren't easing back, that's for sure. They're not content to sit on the lead they had. No, I think they're continuing to go out and execute, try to extend this lead, and just playing overall much better here in the second half. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 23. Throws a laser across the middle. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. Tennessee's up by 18. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle at the 47. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Here's an opening. He's at the 40. He's at the 30 to the 20. The 10. And he scores. Touchdown. Oh, my, what a run that was. Oh, I'll tell you what. This kid is incredible. He's got the moves, the speed, the power. He's the total package. Tacks on the extra point. Tennessee kicked this one off. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And they push him out at the 41 yard line. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. They come out in a five-wide set. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. That's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. He zips it out to the left, and he hauls it in. Touchdown, Vanderbilt! Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly, and again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Vanderbilt lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Tennessee's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And it's caught. He's to the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 41. Caught, and that's a first down. And down he goes at the 43. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Throws right complete and he stopped immediately. That's a gain of six on the play. That brings him second and five. Tackle made at about the 29 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29. Strike to his receiver, no good. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 30. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. the 16-yard line. Number 25 on the tackle at the 16-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds around the 14-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Yeah, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. That makes it second and ten.
It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Short pass, middle of the field. And he's level at the 29. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's hit immediately. From their own 41 yard line, first down. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. And he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. go. Nice run, and he's brought down. From the 42 yard line, it's second down. Right two. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to slide. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Inside the 10, he's taken down at about the seven yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown! He makes the PAT. the 45. The Volunteers have put up 24 unanswered points. One team can't do anything wrong. The other team can't do anything right. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Nice run there. Sampson gains about four yards on the play. That makes it 76. 
from the 41 yard line. Second down. Less than three minutes in the game. He's tackled right around the 38 yard line. to work they'll bring him down around the 30 yard line that is money in the bank sometimes you just can't stop a good combination first and ten ball on the 30 he's at the 20 knocked out of bounds at the 10 first down yard line a yard maybe two on the carry he got right in there and popped the ball carrier this senior just doesn't back down from anyone there he goes nice run to the outside and he keeps it on the option play and picks up six and once again they'll come to the line try to convert on third down the crowd in the line He is drilled at the two-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Kicks away, and it's good. Ross has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't think you can say much about playing defense, because neither team is. Well, it's fun to see this, and it's great to see the points and the offense. I wish we would have seen it early in the game, because this is already a game that's out of reach. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Quick pass. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. the middle to his tailback and he's tackled right around the 40. The spike will stop the clock. It's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tackle at the 32. Stops the clock with a spike. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. Intercepted. 
up third and ten. ten. Make the stop at the 28 yard line. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score Tennessee 44, Vanderbilt 27. So, what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.